this is Richard. My channel is Dinners with Donna. And um, today we are unboxing a Japan Crate special board game edition of snacks. And um, as you know, I, I get these subscription boxes from various places. Japan Crate is one of them. Um, and not a sponsor or anything, but it's it's a fun way to try things from all over the world. So here's the inside. We got lots of, oops, I always do that. <laughs> There's lots of things in here to try. We have a beverage as well, which I had in the fridge. So we're gonna try that when it's time. And uh, let's see, well, first of all, I'll read to you what it says in the box. It says, race through Japan and be the first to reach the finish. Spread ahead, speed ahead, sorry, speed ahead. I'm, <laughs> Spread ahead. Spread, spread ahead. Speed ahead on bullet trains, explore destinations, and take snack breaks on your journey from Okinawa to Hokkaido. I hope I said that right. Um, each player places their piece on the starting space. The youngest player goes first. That's not you. <laughs> on their turn, a player rolls the dice and moves their piece forward. The number of spaces indicated. So is there a game in here? Or is that I don't on know. Oh, is it on the bottom? Let's see. Oh, on here? I guess that's the game. I no. guess. I don't know. Maybe it's on the side. Yeah. And it says in here on the back, it says, Gear up for an awesome adventure with our ninth anniversary, Japan Crate. Crack open your crate and watch as it transforms into a unique Journey Through Japan board game. Kick off in Okinawa and finish up in Hokkaido. I I know I'm not saying that right, and I'm so sorry. Each dice, each dice roll takes you further through Japan. Embark on a delicious journey right from your couch, one snack at a time. So there's a board game in there. Is a board in there? Is there dice in here? I don't see dice or anything. They said there's dice. Oh, there's dice. Okay. Well, there's dice in here and two little people, like two little like, game pieces, I guess. Um, where do you roll? Oh, you have to take everything out and this is the oh, okay. Okay. I and they do this with every Japan crate. They put things for Richard K. <laughs> they put little, um, you know, tapping. Okay, so let's see. We take this out, and here is the game. Is that a key, or is it a six, or is it a nine? Yeah. <laughs> Could be a P, or a B, or a quarter note. <laughs> okay. Boy, there's lots of things in here. Okay, so I guess how do you how do you you have to flatten the box out? Oh, it says cut here and flatten the board. Are we gonna do that? No. No. Okay. We'll just try it in order. We'll try the stacks in order, but I will say um, there's little things on here where you, where okay, I'll show you. You've got to cut the box open, which I didn't know until just now and flatten it out and then you'd play the board game, um, which we won't do because that would probably take way too long and be way too intense. So we're just gonna try the snacks in order, but this is really fun for a family to do or if you have kids. So I know my friends I'm gonna give this box to are gonna have a blast with that. Okay, so maybe just put that there. Here's our booklet. It has some cute, like kawaii characters on there, I guess. And they're playing cards. Okay, all right. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's get started, because there's a lot in here. There's um, four, eight, 12, 16, 16 things to try. Oh boy, aren't you excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we're starting with the, oh boy, Shim, Chaco, Shimchaco, salted vanilla milk corn snack. I think over there, that blue bit. 
that's it, mm -hmm. right? And that's it. Yeah. It says begin, oh man, begin your adventure in the, does that say star sand? Star sand. It does say star sand, okay. Um, beaches in Okinawa with these star-shaped treats as your snacking companion. Sorry, it's, like I said, it's microscopic. That's the only thing I don't like about this box is it's really hard to read the descriptions. I mean, isn't that small? Put your bifocals on. Is that not small? It's yeah. small. Okay, so we have no stats because everything's in Japanese and we don't speak or read Japanese. But they, they look little like little, they look like those little, um, remember the bigger ones that we had B-I-G-G-A and they were like chocolate and vanilla and they tasted like cereal? This looks extremely similar. It looks like a puffed, uh, like a corn puff. And I guess it's sweet, maybe like vanilla. So let's see. Not crunchy. Are they supposed to be like that or are they stale? <laughs> I'm not sure. Is there a date on that? No, it's good yeah. till 2024. Yeah. Um, That's tomorrow. I would, you know, 121, 24, 27, 127, yeah. 24. So no, it's not. Um, they have a good flavor, vanilla. vanilla the cream. vanilla is good. And you know what I think happened? I'm going to be honest here. The vanilla icing probably made them soggy. Yeah. And not crunchy. Um, it's a texture thing for me. It made it seem stale, but they're not stale. I can tell you right now they are not stale. And I knew what you meant. You were going for 2024 is tomorrow because it's New Year's Eve, guys. So happy New Year. <laughs> um, yeah, that. Oh, I don't know what to do with it. Like, what would you say? A six? Probably Five, six? six? Yeah. It's just, it's not the best thing I've ever had. It really needed that crunch factor, I think. It wasn't crunchy at all. And the white vanilla coating on the outside kind of weighed it down. So, yeah, five, six. Okay. So now we have diamond ring candy. Oh, that's that another ring pop. Yeah. Okay. So we've gotten these before. Um, we're not gonna open them because it would just be a waste. We'd each take a lick and then it'd be thrown away. So we're gonna give it to our friends, but it's a cola flavored one. It says delight in this cola forward gem. No, flavored. Well, look, do you see what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's right over the, they have like pictures and stuff and the picture's going right through the writing. So you can't really see it. Um, cola flavored gem shaped like a large jewel ring as it shines as bright as the night lights in Kobe Park. Does it say Kobe Park or Park? Port. 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 Kobe Port. I wish they wouldn't have put those little pictures in the background because it messes with, see how it messes with the writing? Mmm. Okay. So I bet it tastes like a cola ring pop and I'm sure that it's good. I mean, you can't go wrong with something like that. So we'll just give things that we can't try um, a five. So that, that'll that be a five, just to be fair, because we didn't really try it. Oh, I thought it said Ricola. It says Piccola, P-I-C-O-L-A. Lemon water sticks. No. Wafer. <laughs> I'm gonna like you. We just need a magnifying glass. <laughs> it's so small. I'm in wafer sticks. It's way. <laughs> I don't think I'm like way. Oh, there's lemon water in here. I like lemon water, but I was like, is it like in a stick? I, I'm a mess. Okay, lemon wafer sticks. As you savor its sweet and sour lemon cream filling, the wafer sticks shape reminds you of the towering bamboo tree in Ashayama Bamboo Grove. Yeah. <laughs> Want a magnifying glass? Yes. <laughs> I'm 
I'm a mess. I'm so sorry. They look just like those lemon, the pyro, pyroine, pyroine cookies, pyroine. You know the ones that come in the tin can. Um, they're a little smaller. They look promising. I smell the lemon. Do you smell the lemon? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like these. It's crunchy. Mm-hmm. Lemony. Not in a bad way. Mmm. I find these very refreshing. The cream to cookie ratio is very good. The wafer's light and crispy, like it should be. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. I give it a 10 mm. out of 10. Yep. Okay, moving on. Right. An eight. An eight? <laughs> Why? It needed more cream. You think it needed more cream? Well, I got the lemon flavor, so I was pleased with that. But I don't know if the lemon flavor was in, supposed to be in the cream and the cookie, but I got the lemon, so I was happy. Okay, so now we have Kan Pai Ramoon Candy. Now we know that Ramoon, I hope I'm saying it right, is their soft drink of choice in Japan. Because in almost every box we've gotten a Ramoon something candy. Um, so it says, oh man, a nostalgic memento of your, what does that say? Of your what? Unforgettable. Thank you. <laughs> it was right in the writing of the, um, uh, in the graphic. And the, when the graphic hits the text, you can't see it. Um, Osaka Nights. So sweetness from, no, sip sweetness from its mini mug, cherishing moments in Japan's kitchen. It looks like a little beer mug, which is kind of funny. Yeah. I'm guessing it's going to taste like the Ramoon candies we've had in the past. So. You don't hear that. <laughs> if you hear anything in the background, that's our washing machine. And it's finished. <laughs> okay. That's what we do on New Year's Eve. We do laundry. <laughs> and make videos. <laughs> Okay. I got smarty. Yep. Ramoon flavor. Um, yeah. Well, Ramoon, it seemed to me when I looked it up, it's like their version of a Fanta. So it's like various fruit flavors. So it's like all different. Like Ramoon is like Fanta. And then they have all these different fruit flavors. So it's basically a fruit smarty kind of thing. Um, it's really not, it's not bad. It's just, it's basically fruit flavored sugar. Um, so for that reason, I'll give it a six. Hmm? Okay, seven, six, somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. So now we have the Pride Potato Japan Olive, oh no, I don't like olives. Uh, olive Salt Chips. So it says, oh gee, I can I cannot read that. Made with Japan, Japan's finest olive oil, each bite of these crispy chips takes you to Shodoshima's picturesque olive groves. Thank you. Isn't it really hard to read that? Thank you. Okay, so I like olive oil. I just don't like olive olives. I don't eat olives. It's just, I'm not like you know afraid of them or anything. I just don't. Them. But I'll eat them if they're on a pizza. It's like a Lay's potato chip. Mm hmm. Mmm. It's a good potato chip. It is. And then in the back, they have the olive. I don't taste the olives. Well, no, you're not going to taste olives because it's olive oil, um, which is how they, they cook them. Um, no, delightful little chip. I give it like an 8, 9 out of 10. Um, That's good. Yeah, it's a good chip. So, it, it, yeah, like it shows you the olives for the olive oil, uh, where they get them and, and the mountains and all that. 
I'm gonna have one more because it was good. Mmm. Okay. They were good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'd be great with dip. Okay. Monster Stamp Cola. That thing. Did you know there's a Monster Street? Okay. Monster Street in Kyoto. Bring the monsters wherever you go with the monster stamp candy. Lick it to unveil the stamp. Oh, this sounds weird. <laughs> oh, okay. So look guys, it's shaped like a little die, like a little yeah. stamp, right? And it has a little handle and you're gonna lick it. Well, it's a cat, I can see. Mine's a Mine's cat. A pumpkin. Mine's a cat. Does it really stamp something? Let's try it on the napkin. Stamp my plate. It's working on a napkin. See? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is it any good? Not good. You can't bite it. <laughs> Mine tastes like cola. Mine too. And I probably have red lips now from this. Oh, I hope my tongue's not green. I like stamping. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It reminds me of when I used to craft. Hmm. But yeah, it's a little cat. I guess maybe that was supposed to be Halloween themed or something. Because you got a pumpkin and I got a cat. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Got what the heck is that? <laughs> what is that? That's another pumpkin. That's a pumpkin too. Oh, that's a pumpkin with a funny face. Yeah. Oh, it's a pumpkin. I think I thought it might be Santa. Are oh, you gonna Santa? Yeah. Oh, look. You can see it. Here, want to stamp it? And there's Richards. Fun with candy. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> um, it's fun. I will say that it's a novelty and it's unique. On that creativity level, I give it a ten. Mm -hmm. Flavor and edibility, a four. <laughs> it's like a really hard razzle or razzle or candy or like a um, what are those um, bottle cap. Mm -hmm. That's why I was trying to think, because the razzles turn to gum. Right. That it would not turn to gum. Okay. So now we're to our drink, our beverage. It's green Dakara salted, oh, salted lychee and yogurt drink. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll have you read that while I pour. After an exhilarating day at Universal Studios Japan, you'll be charged with this Does refreshing really drink. Wow. A delightful fusion of salted leche and yogurt. All right. We had this in the fridge and I'm glad I did because it said yogurt. Uh. <laughs> Sounds great. Oh, it smells good. Smell it. It smells like lychee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't look, okay. It's not as offensive looking as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like one of those creamy, weird things. Um, it doesn't look like that bad at all. It looks like a fruit soda. It's like leche. Lychee? Lychee. That's it. <laughs> leche is dolce de leche. <laughs> oh, well, happy New Year's, Richard. <laughs> it's not sweet. Oh, it's not carbonated either. Kind of weird. It does taste like lychee. I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. You know when you open up the lychee and you, there's the liquid in there? That's what that tastes like. Yeah. I mean... I'm get yogurt. It needs something. 
sugar. I don't know why. And why are there grapes, lemons? I get the lychee, but there's other fruits on there and I'm not getting any of those in there. Were you? No. Yeah, it looks like there's lemon, apple, lychee, and grape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause see they have a thing there. Huh. I, I, I am really like indecisive on this one. I've never been this way. I'm gonna give it a six. Five. Yeah. I mean, it does taste like lychee. I, I'll give it that. It, it's different. Um, it's not, I, I don't know. It just needs something. Either sugar or another juice or another flavor. But it needs to be amped up a little bit. Almost like dragon fruit. You can't just have like straight up dragon fruit because it doesn't taste like much. Like a lychee is good and everything, but it, don't, it, don't, it doesn't have that much flavor. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay. All right, so now we have Pandaro butter cookies in a cute little panda package. And it says, you drop by Ueno Zoo to see some adorable pandas. Enjoy the company of these, of these animals both in real life and when you in your snacks. I read one. It's just one problem. <laughs> oh no! It's pieces. Okay, so this did not end up shipping as had planned. Was there a panda on there? Oh. Put it back together like a puzzle. It, it's a little half of a panda face. Okay, well. Mmm. Oh, good butter cookie. Tastes like a butter cookie. It tastes just like those Danish butter cookies you get in the tin, you know, at Christmas time. That's an excellent cookie. Mm -hmm. I give that a 10 out of 10. Um, maybe a 9.5. Just because it didn't travel well. And it was in that box. And this is all they put in there to protect it. So, so they could have done a little better with that. And you know, this this might have crushed it because this is not, you know, lightweight. So that could have crushed that cookie maybe, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Number chocolate, it was a number, it was a number. <laughs> number chocolate. It says, turn waiting at Shayoa, I hope I'm saying that right, crossing into a fun countdown. These colorful chocolates will sweetly guide you through the hustle and bustle of the iconic crossing. It's a number two. There you go. So did we get two of them? Oh, oh, we, oh that's different. It's okay. Like a little M&M. Yeah, it's like they're, it almost looks like, you know those six slits that come in the different colors, like pink and all that? Tastes like an M&M. Mm-hmm. Sounds good as an M&M. &M, but it's their version of an M&M. &M. It's cute and it's fun. I give it a 7 out of 10. All right. So now we have Ariel Sour Cream and Onion Chips. Oh, this sounds promising. Don't miss the giant Gundam statue. Yeah, it says Gundam statue, G-U-N-D-A-M. These chips, are you laughing at me? <laughs> These chips with a mobile, oh gosh. You laughed at me and now I'm self-conscious. <laughs> These chips with a mobile suite. Mobile suit. Ha, <laughs> ha, Design. Design are a delicious reminder to visit the popular attraction in Obadiah. See, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Huh. I'll, I'll go back to reading on the next one because you're just doing as well as me. It's the, it's the printing on here. It's not us, trust me. Well, I mean, good. it kind of is us. Oh, those are not what I was expecting. chips. Well, they are chips, right. but they look like Bugle. I always, but it looks like a bugle. It's all ridged and flat, but flattened out and rolled. How weird. Mmm. Good. 
Mm. Fresh. Mm. Mm. Fresh. They are fresh. <laughs> They're really good. Look at that. Mmm. Very crunchy. Mm hmm. That gets a 10 out of 10 for me. You too? Me too. Okay. We're gonna fight over those. <laughs> Mini Vita C gummies. I think we've tried these we've had before. We've these before, yeah. And like the plastic melts or something. Remember, yeah. we were trying to figure out how to open them. And you that pla like the coating on the back is edible. We didn't know that when we tried it the first time. If you are planning to conquer the beast that is Mount Fuji, an energy drink or energy drink gummies is a must have for that extra boost. We should be better at this this time. Maybe <laughs> not. Hard to get out. There, I remember this from the last time. The little bottle. I like how they feel. They feel feel that. It's like smooth. It's like a stretch thing. I mean, it's a good gummy. It's the packaging is a little bit rough because it's a little hard to get out of the packaging. Gotta peel it. Mm-hmm. It's appealing. <laughs> but other than that, it's a good gummy. It's supposed to give you energy. I don't know about that. Um but it's a good tasting gummy. It had good flavor. It had a good chew. It wasn't too sticky. Um, so I would give it an eight out of 10. Yeah. Just cause yeah. it's not something I would run back to. Like we've had some gummies that I would definitely get again. Like those cola gummy things we mm -hmm. had, those were really good. But um, those were not as good as those. Okay. So now we're onto another gummy, sour cider gummies. Oh no. Experience the. Alright, what's that? Taste. Thank you. Taste of the Mori's famous ciders with these gummies. Savor the flavor of refreshing cider in every bottle shaped gummy. Is there more than one in there? Oh. I think we've had these before too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, should I try to cut it? Oh, it's cutting. This one's actually gonna work. Maybe not. It worked till I got to the bottom. You a chef? I know. It's all in the knife. Okay, so here's our cross section. Mm. Oh, I like that better than the other one. Now, mind you, I'm not judging it on its cutability because you're not supposed to be sharing that. You're supposed to just like take the whole thing. Now, I will say, this gummy is one of the best I've ever had. I love the flavor of it. I love the, um, texture of it. It's not too sticky and it's not sticking to like my teeth and everything like where I need like oh gosh what did I just do. Um, it's very pleasant. Um, I give it a 10. Yeah it's good. Mm -hmm. Now we're on to the key chocolate. So that one is a key. The key to my heart Richard. <laughs> okay it says you've reached the final stop. They say, oh no, the Hoku, all right, how do you say that? I got sugar on me. Hoku date. Hoku date night view resembles a sparkling jewelry box. Could this be the delicious key to that box? I don't know. I will say the sugar from that gummy got all over me. <laughs> Little M and M's again. Sorry. So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as the other one. Pop it all out. I would have 
equate it more to a six slip than a M &M. an M&M, &M, to be honest. Yeah. But you guys know what they are. It's the same as the other one. Mm-hmm. Now we have a nine and a two, so we're 92. Or 29. Like I mean, it's a key, but it looks like a nine to me. Or six. <laughs> or a half note. A quarter note. Okay. All right. Karaoke. Oh, boy. We should save that for karaoke night. <laughs> karaoke Mike Ramoon Candy. Oh, not. They put that Ramoon Candy in everything, don't they? Oh, my goodness. Okay. It says, you find yourself in Sinajuku, the city that never sleeps. What would you do? You seize the karaoke stage and sing your heart out. Yes, we do. <laughs> and then we try to figure out how to open this without like Killing. destroying things. <laughs> there we go. And it looks just like the Ramon candy we've okay. had a, about a hundred times now. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna say it, it better tastes like a Smarty. Yeah. Yep, tastes like a Smarty. I thought it was gonna pop. That would have been fun. <laughs> It'd be cool if they took it up a notch and had lights and music come out of it. Okay, so now we have, oh, so it's, it's a, basically a Smarty, so it's like yeah. six. It's not anything special, um, but it's the packaging with those. They come in those little mugs, they come in little microphones, so basically a packaging thing. Okay, so Atawama Black Cola Candy. Um, indulge in the popping fun of um, Awatama Black Cola Candy as dark and mysterious as the black eggs of Owakadama. Uh, oh man, I am so sorry. I'm butchering all these names. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to taste that? Try to cut it in half and see what happens. It says popping though. What if it explodes? I'll get back. <laughs> I'll protect you, Richard. <laughs> this could go wrong. Oh, it's not. It, it's hard. Look at this. You mean to try it? Go ahead. Good luck. It's hard. I'm not kidding. It is hard as a rock. Yeah. All right. That gets a two for me just because it's very confusing and it's hard. Who's going to eat that? You'd have to suck on that thing all day. It's like a jawbreaker. Got a weird flavor too. Yeah, I'm giving it like a two. That was weird. It was. Did it even taste like cola? A little bit, but it's sour. Mm. Oh, oh no, I think we've had this before Blue too. Tongue gum. Blue tongue gum. Oh, I guess I wonder what this is gonna do. <laughs> um, let this gum soda flavored goodness turn your mouth blue. No thanks. Just like the vivid colors of the water and sky in the breathtaking Nagano Alps. We'll just let you use your imagination yeah. with that one. <laughs> It'll probably look like my bow, my tongue after I try that. So I think we've had it before. And I think we gave it like a six because it was nothing special and it turned our tongues blue. And right. when you're more than like 12 years old or so, that's not fun anymore. <laughs> You're like, I don't want my tongue and teeth to turn blue. So yeah, we'll give it a six. But kids would probably think it's yeah. great. Okay, so now we've got great, oh, we've done this we've before done this. too. Grape whistle gum. We've got a lot of repeats we'll on We'll give them a seven. That's what we gave last time. Yeah, <laughs> it was a seven. It's fun, it's interactive, and it had good grape flavor. Wow, okay. And then that is the DIY kit which is a fluffy cloud candy DIY kit. Um, with a DIY kit, you can create fluffy candy similar to Harajuku's viral cotton candy. They make the, have you seen that? It, they make it into all kinds of like 
animals, shapes, and flowers, like a whole bouquet of, and they had something similar a couple of years ago. I think it was at Festival of the Arts at Epcot where they had the, like, like I call it designer cotton candy because it's like really elaborate and fancy. But yeah, if you're at Epcot's uh, Festival of the Arts or it was either that or Flower and Garden, but they had this really beautiful like cotton candy art. But that's basically what it is. So you're basically making that. Get ready for a cloud nine treat that'll make your taste buds soar. So they say to fill the cloud shaped tray to the line with water, dissolve the purple powder in the tray and mix well, add the blue powder to the opposite side of the tray and then scoop the cloud foam, dip it in the blue powder and enjoy. And I know my friends will be enjoying that as much as Richard is enjoying this uh, onion and um, sour cream crisps. <laughs> so that is our board game um, special edition Japan crate, uh, special edition there. And um, again, not a sponsor, but I will put the link for Japan crate in the video description. My complaint about this particular box, I didn't like that. They could have just put the board game on here so you could have played it, or they could have even just printed one out. I mean, mm -hmm. that was kind of, that you have to cut your box apart. It's kind of, yeah. And the other thing I was not too big a fan of, and I've complained about this before, is the small writing in here. It's so tiny. Um, I wish they would do what Universal Yums does and make it so you can actually like read it um, without a magnifying glass. And the other thing is um, repeats. Um, because there's so, you guys know, there's so many treats and um, candies and snacks from Japan. There's like thousands of them. Why are we getting repeats? Everything is Ramoon, Ramoon, Ramoon. <laughs> it's like, all the thing is Ramoon, but just packaged differently or the whistle gum. It's fun and everything, but like, okay, we've done that now and I'd like to try something a little different. So hopefully in the next box, we'll get, uh, you know, a, a different variety of things. But overall, I would give this box an eight out of 10. I mean, most of it was very good. good. Um, and I mean, you know, aside from like the repeats and stuff, it, it was a fun box. Um, I liked it. I mean, I'm, I'm, my complaints were few. I, I didn't mean to make it sound so negative, but yeah, just a little thing, a couple of things I changed. And other than that, it was fun. I think it was a great box. Don't you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I was impressed. I like the um, the sour cream and onion chips, and I like the lemon um, wafer cookies. Those are my two favorites. How about you? These are my favorite. The only thing I really did not like at all was that cola thing we couldn't even cut in half, and um, the thing that turns your tongue blue. I, I'll just never understand those things. <laughs> even when I was a kid, I didn't like it. I just thought it was messy, but that's just me. Um, I know kids would probably think that's like such a blast. So, you know, that's just my thing. I was always a weird kid. <laughs> I'm a weird adult too. <laughs> He's not saying anything. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you guys so much for joining us. Like I said, I'll put the um, link for Japan Crate in the video description if you want to check it out and, um, you know, choose... A subscription or for yourself or give one away or whatever um and thanks for getting to the end of this video i really appreciate you um if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you could click your notification bells to all so you know when i release new content that would be wonderful and like i said this is uh, being filmed on new year's eve um so i just want to say from our family to all of you um Happy New Year. I hope 2020 I hope 2024 is really great for all of you. Um, so here's to a great year. Uh, take good care. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.